Greetings everyone, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek The Fish of Starships collection. We're moving into the territory of top 10s. And um, I'm going to do a couple of videos. I want to do top 10 kind of Federation human ships. And uh, I'll do a top 10 alien ships as well. And I spent a, a little bit of time thinking about what to choose. And um, I kind of swayed on sometimes the more quirky side slash eagle moss's representation of the model and um i didn't want to do like duplicate ships because like the the miranda variants are fantastic and um there's a couple of other variant ships in there as well they're amazing so i'm keeping this to regular size models not doing excels or specials so we're going to start off in no particular order the first in my list of 10 uh, federation ships is the Pasteur for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, I met Gates McFadden, who signed the magazine <laughs> way back when um, at Dublin Comic Con. But um, I like this ship. Uh, it harks back to the Daedalus class, some of the earlier designs uh, for Starfleet ships. I love the spherical... Um, front section uh, i think it's nicely put together some nice design architecture on it and i think the overall sculpt is actually quite nice on it yes it's a medical ship but i kind of like that too because you know starfleet is multifaceted and uh, different ships have different roles it's not always about exploration um but sometimes you need to have um aid humanitarian um, what's the, what's what's the alien version of humanitarian aid, or would it be the same thing? Probably the same thing. But here we have the Pastor from All Good Things. Nice, neat little design, and um, I think it's a pretty nice model for the collection. So let's check out number two, shall we? So, like I mentioned in a most recent video, the Enterprise will always be in a top ten video for me because number one, it's my very first Enterprise. It's the first in the collection, and it's the ship that launched the collection because it's a beautiful uh, representation of the model from Eagle Moss. Lovely Aztec and good sculpt, great detailing, paint applications are on point as well. And I know the design is not for everybody, but for me, this is my introduction into Star Trek way back in 19, I think it was 1988, 89 when I started watching it uh, over here in Ireland and uh, just got sucked into it um, on a weekly basis and never looked back. Somewhat reinvigorated in later years thanks to YouTube and all you amazing people out there. But yes, we have the USS Enterprise NCC-1701D, a Galaxy class, fantastic starship, the USS Enterprise. Moving on to number three. So number three, we have a runabout. This is the Orinoco from D Space Nine. Um, I love this ship. Uh, this ship always reminds me of the kit that my cousin uh, made way back when. The, I think it was a Revel kit. Um, could be wrong, but it was it was a lovely kit. And uh, I remember seeing the, the the runabouts, just pretty cool, quirky little ships. And um, the Orinoco is a lovely rendition off of from Eagle Moss. I know they have an XL version now, which I haven't got eyes on. Uh, potentially, I might stay tuned for that. And if I do, I'll do a video on it. But um, here we have the standardized version, so it's decent size actually. Um, I was surprised uh, with the size of this, but um, the overall, again, sculpt paint applications on this from Eagle Moss are really on point. And I know some people did some aftermarket modifications with the second one by removing the torpedo uh, launcher on the top to kind of, uh, you know, uh, link in with some of the other runabouts in the series. But um, I left mine in its individual state. But a uh, lovely ship, um, think great design, and I uh, love having it in the collection. So let's move on to the next one, shall we? Next up on our list of 10, we have the NCC-1864. This is the USS Reliant Miranda class ship from Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. This, it's, it, number one, it's an iconic ship. You know, the, the dual... Uh, the, 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 the duel in the Mutara Nebula between this ship and the Enterprise was just fantastic. And this model also was fantastic. This blew me away way, way back early in the collection when it came. And it has spawned several variations of it that, again, I've all reviewed, so check out the playlist on it. But um, the sculpt 
paint apps you know the decals just everything is on point fantastic additions of the plastic inserts and the nacelles and just everything is just absolutely glorious on the miranda i battled with kind of picking the, between the variants of the mirandas that we have but i i just think again this is the genesis uh, this is the first ship that led the the i think what do we have five miranda variations now but um this is the ship that that led it all and uh, absolutely gorgeous uh, i'm wondering if you share my opinion in that but let's move on to the next ship shall we so here we have the saber class uss jaeger this is one of the uh Borg Busters. These are the ships from First Contact. Um, I loved getting the the ships like the Steamrunner, the Norway, the Akira, but uh, I just I just love the quirkiness of the the Saber class, and I think its version and its representation by Eagle Moss here uh, in the collection is is lovely. It's I think it's spot on with the size, the plastic components on the nacelles work, paint apps, the detailing is all there, and uh, it's just a, a really cool awesome ship and just again a departure like these borg ships uh these battle the the, the borg uh or offensive ships uh were really really cool to see kind of nipping around and just uh, it's an absolute pleasure to now have them in the collection again bit of a challenge to kind of whittle it down between them the the norway class is pretty freaking sweet as well but um just the mood that i'm in at the moment i said i'd put the saber in what do you think I put this in a most recent video of the Enterprises. Um, I talked, I think, very positively about it. Uh, we have an XL version. We have the NX-01 refit, but this is the standard version. We also actually have the Mirror Universe version, which I have as well. But um, again, this is an early enough in the run type ship. And um, again, really well done. The sculpt, no major issues with. The paint applications were fantastic. Like it looks, it has that shine that metallic uh essence to it and um yeah for the size of it you can see the front saucer dish isn't you know fantastically prominent but there's going to be limitations when you're looking at the scales that we're working with here as well but an absolute amazing addition loved having my hands on it um i have the diamond select version of it as well but just lovely lovely display piece this and uh, is a great companion to the overall collection as well. So the NX-01, captained by Jonathan Archer, and uh, as seen in the TV app series Enterprise. Next on the list, we have the Phoenix. I couldn't not put this in. It's not Federation, it's not Starfleet, it's, it's human. Um, it's Sephiroth Cochrane's ship from First Contact. This is the, the ship that hailed in the era of warp traveled and uh, summoned the Vulcans to Earth in the Tiplana Hath. Um, lovely model, fantastic design, um, absolutely amazing ship and uh, I've seen some fantastic modifications to this model as well with the nacelles being tucked in. Um, I would like to warp my stand to have a kind of more pointing upwards but I don't know where I would display that type of uh, uh phoenix but um i love it just a great sculpt the seam is hidden very nicely and uh, the detailing and paint applications on the ship are fantastic as well especially around the engine assembly and the cockpit as well just amazing and i uh, love having it in my collection let's move on next up we have a nebula variant this is the phoenix we also have the honshu uh, in here as well but i decided to go with the phoenix number one i love the aox um dish on the back of it number two i think the aft section is much more successful than the honshu because there is a wicked ugly seam on the back of the honshu and it's lacking a lot of detail but we're not here to talk about the honshu we're here to talk about the phoenix love the nebula variants uh, i know a lot of people uh, linked the star trek discovery edison um into um being like a precursor to the nebula which is you know i i, I dig as well but um, again, modification of one of my favourite ships, the Galaxy class. I love the underslung nacelles. I love the very, uh, well, the necklace uh, design of it. And just having the, again, the Miranda type variations with the AOX, with the mission pods and everything like that as well. But that aside, I think Eagle Moss's representation of the ship is on point. Great Aztec on it. Decals are very crisp and clear. 
a little bit of window drift on it but like you can see all those escape pods the phaser banks uh, everything is fantastic there and overall the alignment is pretty cool as well and a nice little display because it's raised up quite severely at the front so you can get a nice underneath shot off it as well so uh yeah we're going back to variants but what will be the next ship place your bets next up we have the uss kaishu this is one of the kit bash ships battle of wolf 359 uh variants that we have and we have a number of them and again it was a bit of a battle you know do i put the chekhov in there do i put the cheyenne to name but a few um but i decided to go with the kaishu because um i, I like its quirkiness uh, I love that there's highlighters glued to the top and bottom of the ship and uh, you know it has similarities with the Galaxy class in form but quite a lot of differences as well it's just a really kind of quirky uh, awesome little ship and paint apps decals are really really cool but I love and I, I wanted a little bit of a representation of the Wolf 359 ships in my top 10 like I did with the first contact ships because where else are you going to have a collection that will have these type of ships in them? And I'm only, I, I, we're 154 ships in and I'm challenged to put in 10 Federation ships or human ships here. I haven't put in any shuttles, I haven't put in any specials, uh, maybe for later videos. But uh, yeah, I think this is a decent uh, showing here. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy that the Kaishu is in uh, a top 10 video for human Federation ships. But what would be the last ship? It might throw you, or it might make sense. But we'll, we'll see, we will soon see. Rounding in number 10, we have the USS Grissom, uh, or birth class uh, ship. And uh, maybe you're kind of scratching your heads going, what the hell has he put this ship in here for when there's so many others? And you're right, there are so many others. And this is just the 10 that stood out to me when I was looking at my collection. And um, I just remember seeing this class of ship on the on not on the big screen because I never saw it in the, in the cinemas, but uh, I remember in the movies and even um, in the the Pegasus version of the ship as well. It was in a fantastic storyline as well. I'm a sucker for quirky ships, and uh, not every quirky ship, you know, kind of ticks all the boxes for me. But this is one of them, and um, I think it's this is a great version of it. Um, I had the Micro Machines version, still do it actually and um i just i just really like it i love the kind of art deco type nacelles on it um the kind of query how do they get down to the 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 underslung section of the ship uh is there separation a lot of a lot of all these cool questions came into mind when i first saw the ship for the very first time um but you know the detailing on this model is great the paint apps are on point as well and it's a fine size ship and you know that's one of the advantages of working with a smaller scale ship that uh, you can have this so much more detail uh, on it as well. So that kind of wraps up my, well not kinda, that definitely wraps up my top 10 at the moment Federation human ships in the standard line. And uh, yes, as I said, I haven't done the XLs, haven't done any specials and um, any shuttles, but we'll keep them for other videos. So what would your top 10 be from Eagle Moss's Star Trek, the official Starships collection in the standard run? Uh, be um, within the Federation slash human contingent. Let me know in the comments below and uh, we'll wrap it up there. So big shout out to everyone who's been suggesting videos as of late. I'm um, glad you're liking the videos um, off late as well. And a big shout out to the Patreon supporting the channel and uh, everyone else for commenting, liking, sharing and subscribing and you know, keeping me on my toes over on Twitter and uh, Facebook and Instagram as well. So do check out all the links are down in the doobly doo uh, down below and as always uh, I've been your local Irish Trekkie have a good rest of the week and uh, we'll see you in the next video take it easy and goodbye <laughs>